Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're back in the cabin. Yay! You spent a lot of time up here cleaning the other day. I did. Aren't you glad? I helped you a little bit. You did come up and help me. And, and you played music and you enjoyed it. You That's exactly here. right. You know what? <laughs> we really do like our little setting here for yeah. our kitchen and you did a beautiful job. Well, thank you. Getting it cleaned up. It was fun cleaning It's good it. to be back in here. Yeah, it is. We're going to be spending a lot of time in here this winter. Now, in a little while, I'm going to fix you one of your favorite things. Yay. But... We've had so many questions here lately on our Facebook page, and I thought this may be the perfect opportunity to take a day out and kind of show you behind the scenes. By the time we get to the kitchen, by the time we're here, a lot's already gone on during mm -hmm. the day. Now people, time after time after time, have mentioned, we love to see the puppies, we love to see the sheep, we love to see the cattle, we haven't seen the cattle for a while, but tell us about what's going on with, with our chicken. Well, the one chicken, she thinks that her eggs are fertilized. She's broody. She thinks she's going to have a baby. Yeah. So every time I go out, I have to fight her to get her off. That's what happens when a hen goes right. broody. So she we have wants a war. to keep her eggs underneath her. So. <laughs> and when I take her egg, you can, she squawks for what, half an hour? I'm feeding the cow yeah. and I'm here. <laughs> but I have to fight her. But I get her egg. But I'm taking that eggs. egg. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to show you a little bit behind the scenes tonight. Usually we start by getting hay out of the barn. This right. time of year, the grass is kind of dry. We haven't had any rain right. at all. So thank goodness for Mr. Crutcher, That's right. the fellow who made the bowls. I That's found right. out he has the best hay in the world. So we have been getting our hay from Mr. Crutcher. Mm -hmm. So our day usually starts in the barn, getting the hay, going to see Maybell and Mo, then on to the sheep. So let's just show you how our day works before we ever get to the kitchen. I gotta wait longer? A little bit. Okay. Be right back. Oh, the life of a farmer. <laughs> the things we do, the fun stuff like shoveling, shivering in the wintertime. Yeah, uh -huh. That's your job. <laughs> you know what? We're going to show you something on the farm here. Uh, people have been asking to see our girl here and Mo and the sheep. We're going to go around and show you a pretty typical day on the farm. There's a lot mm -hmm. to do. You know, even a small farm like this with a couple cows and a bunch of sheep and chickens keeps you busy. So a lot of people have been asking to see the critters, so hey, that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you kind of a day in the life of Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. <laughs> so we've got a lot to do. It's getting dark. Got a lot of mouths to feed. Yes, we do. So I go, brought, her, go I brought her some give, snacks. Give her a slice. Maybell. Look here. Maybell. Look here. Look here. She's got it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah. Whoa. Do it again. Here's another one. Here's another one. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> She loves those. Was that good? Talking about the fact that she's a brown Swiss, she was bred with an Angus, mm -hmm. to get what we got here with Mo. Now, Mo is stout. He is probably, he was born in April. Now, this is only October. He's a big boy. how big he is. This Thursday, he's going away. A lot of people would like their beef going to slaughter to be 1,100 pounds, 1,200 pounds. Right. I'm guessing he's probably seven to eight. He's big. And the thing is, you know, this is the pig pen. Yeah. And we had a couple of pigs in here. We've got pigs in the freezer still. Yes, we do. I'm getting kisses. Listen, slobber jaws. <laughs> you've had enough apples. Hi. Hi. So now a lot of people would say, okay, we want grass fed. We want this or that. The thing is, he's still feeding on her. He's yeah, still he getting milk. He's almost as big as her. He's still getting top grade alfalfa from Mr. Crutcher. Right. What else is he getting? I'm pouring a sweet feed mm -hmm. to him. Now people say, well, that's not the, uh, that's not the uh, grass fed way, but we're, we're putting the fat on him. Think about the fact that he's eating mostly milk, top grade alfalfa, and sweet feed. Yum. And we're pouring it to him. <laughs> now, as he takes his trip to be processed, she's going down to visit and find a boyfriend. Uh-oh, maybe. And when she comes back, hopefully next spring, or actually it'll be early summer, we'll hopefully be able to videotape her having her baby, her, yeah. our new calf. And who knows what'll happen. If it's a little girl, we might, we might have, to have to keep her. Yeah. The sheep are over in the other field. We're gonna visit them in a minute. We got an ear tag to do. Right. We got a little bit of worming to do. Mm -hmm. So much to do. Plus they have to take a walk. Now we've been spoiling our sheep and they've been taking a walk with us. Right. They're like, I'll turn the music on. They're they in like this the little music. pattern on, on the <laughs> iPhone. I get in the gator. We go up the hill and they follow us. They mm -hmm. jump and run, they know they're out. There's no fences. We take them over to the next store pasture and they feed and they graze and they chill out and they listen to Beethoven. Right, they're they like do Beethoven. like Beethoven. Yeah. That's good. Now, you know that Milton likes 50s stuff. I don't know why. He kind of stays back. But he, stay he stays back, he likes the 50s <laughs> stuff. So, It's a task keeping these critters happy 
and they, they need a lot of room, they need a lot of food. They eat a lot and drink a lot. They eat a lot and drink a lot. Isn't she sweet? She is a she's sweet, sweet, sweet cow. You're sweet. So she's our, one of our favorites on the farm here. All the puppies are gone. That's right. Now we had those puppies with the intention of giving those to people who needed them. For Some people wanted them in the house. Yeah. In the house. Those big dogs are in their bed. Dog. They're that's, in their bed. That's fine and good if that's your thing. <laughs> but most of them went to guard flocks right. somewhere of sheep, chickens. And we just gave the last two uh, away the other day right. to the Elmwood Stock Farm. Those are nice people. Yeah, they are good people. And they've been eating their food and it's delicious. Yes, it is. So let's put them a little food out. Then let's go visit with the sheep. we got a lot to do over on that side there of the farm. There we do. Let me get the sweet feed for you. I'll get that. That's too heavy. Okay. Now, if you think this is the most cost efficient way to raise beef right here, you're wrong. I could save a lot of money by going to the store and buying the cheapest hamburger and not know where it's coming from. Now, there are options. You could go to one of our favorite stores and know where your meat comes from, but now I really know where my meat comes from. Now, we are not cattle farmers by any means. We're hobby farmers, I guess you could say. But look at the size of this guy. Now, let's, take, let's look back. When he first came here, he was almost a red color. He had black rings around his eyes. Look at the size difference between then and now. Look at the color difference, the body shape difference, and look what he's grown into. That will make some mighty fine eating this winter. Now on to the sheep. So today, we're going into the sheep, okay. and we're gonna bribe them with corn. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for cracked corn. That's right. I mean, seriously, right. if they get out, if weird things happen, cracked corn, Follow you anywhere. Stuff. Now we're going to tag one's ear. Mm -hmm. They have to be legally tagged before you sell them or do anything right. like that. And this this is basically a little punch, just like you. You want to try? Yeah, let's let's pierce your ears. Mine already pierced. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. probably good. Thanks okay. anyway. But it's a very simple process. Then we're going to worm a couple of them. You may have seen us do this, but this is something we have to do this time of year. Then we're going to take them for their walkabout. They love Isn't that. Isn't it fun? They do like that. They chase behind and run, click the hills up. So let's tag an ear, do a little worming. But first of all, have we got cracked corn? I will go get some. Let's get some. I'm tired. That's just a little bit of the day. Mm -hmm. Are you getting hungry? I'm starving. What would you like? How about some wings? Like oh, some famous wings? Yeah, your famous wings. The best in the world. I wings. thought we weren't going to share that one. I'll share that. It's so good. Everybody needs to make those. They're this delicious. is top secret, top shelf You'll stuff. You'll never go out for wings again after those. It's kind of an orange, Asian peanut butter. And the wings are delicious. They're yeah. pretty dang good. But I'm starving. Let's go inside. 
We're, we're actually showing kind of what we do around here before we actually show you my world famous wing recipe. Okay. Let's I'll go eat. inside and show you. We got to work on a little piece of music okay. that I'm working on right now for another piece. And we actually do some of our own music for the show. And then check a few emails. And then it's off to the cabin yep. for some wings. All right. This is the way we sit around and talk about what's going on and right. talk to people from all over the world. Now, we found out recently that on YouTube, once we post a show on television, then we put it on YouTube about a week later. We post this thing and we find out that people from the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, India, Philippines, Germany, New wow. Zealand, Indonesia, so on and so forth. So we find out that people are watching by the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. We get almost a quarter of a million views per month. So people all over the world, is that not cool? That is. That here we are doing our little farming thing here and doing our little Southern comfort recipes. And then we go to our Facebook page. At the end of the show, you know, when we used to tell people, make sure you like us right. and become our friend on Facebook, we're talking to people from all over the world on Facebook. That's now, neat. listen to this. Here's a message we got recently from Finland. Finland. This is Krista Lundstrom. And she says, hello there. Me and my husband are long-term fans of yours. Thank you for giving us good ideas and excellent recipes. We've established a rabbit farm in hmm. Finland. Wow. And as rabbit meat is fairly unknown here, people do not know how to cook it all yummy. Come to think, would you have a tasty recipe in your books or even create a brand new one for us? So I said, hey, we'll get on that. We'll give you a couple recipes right. that we have. So is that not cool that, that we, as we talk to people here and we answer everybody, you know, right. we may, sometimes if we're on the road and we're shooting, it may take a little while to get back. So I want to thank everybody for being our Facebook friend. If you haven't signed on, go to your Facebook page, look up Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page, like it. Now, if you notice, we have a lot of music on our show behind our segments. Right. We have Connor that sits right over in the other corner of this mm -hmm. office and that's where he plays the guitar. Or we have the Moron Brothers on. We love our music. Kentucky is steeped in music. We yes, have so is. many talented people. But a lot of times, in order for us to put this stuff on YouTube, we have to have our own music. So a lot of times, we'll go downstairs. And if you've heard the theme show, they say, you are what you eat. So I don't eat chicken feet. That was me. I wrote that in our recording studio. I'm saying it all. So a lot of people don't know that Nikki plays the piano. And we record downstairs. In a minute, we'll take a walk downstairs and work on some stuff is we're working up an appetite because Nikki wants her... Wings, I'm starving. Famous wings, all right. All right, now this is my recording studio. This is where I actually wrote the theme song to Tim Palmer's Country Kitchen and Homemade Jam and some other things. And this is a way to lay down as many tracks as I possibly could want to do. This is a cowboy song that I did on a cowboy piece. So sometimes I'll just come down here and I very much value Nikki's opinion because if you've watched the Homemade Jam show, she plays the piano and we have a band together. In this instance right here, sometimes I'll say, Nikki, do I have too much, too little, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna ask you and we'll see what you think right here. <laughs> now, as you know, I don't have the full use of my right arm due to a motorcycle wreck, so I have fashioned this piece of equipment. I like it. It's a brace with a piece of, it's a lot of duct tape. Yeah. And a pick. But it works. And a piece of a coat hanger. So what I'm doing here, I've already laid down You'll hear a click track when I turn this on. This is 4-4 four, four time. And what I want to do is get my timing down. Sometimes I'll use that old metronome that you used to use playing a piano. That's my dad's. Or sometimes I'll use the actual click track on here. So, so far I've got eight or ten tracks here, and this is what I would add. I need to add another track. So see if you think this needs this or not. You do like I like that. that. I do like that. Usually you say less. <laughs> I do like so that. So you do like the extra. I like that. Okay. So it's nice to be able to have a studio where we can actually produce the music for the show as well. And a lot of people don't know we do that, and a lot of people don't know how complicated it is. A lot of people have asked us for behind the scenes. This, this is about as behind the scenes as you could possibly get right here. All right, let's go back to the cabin. I'm starving. And make your wings. You've been promising wings. We got cleaned wings. up. Okay, you've been no. promising for a long All right, time. I'll, I'll get your wings going. Okay. Now we're starving. Yes, we are. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you the cut and dry overview of 
the chicken wing recipe. Would you say? It's the best in the world. It's the absolute best. All right, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I've had a lot of wings. <laughs> Traveling around, talking to different people, sampling mm -hmm. different things, watching people in an Asian kitchen and, and watch what they're doing mm -hmm. and them talking to me. They're, some very fine folks spent a little time with me and showed me some secrets on, on their seasoning. I got some great stuff. If you ask any of our kids, you, you make the best, absolute. Never frozen. That's right. Our wings Fresh. are never frozen. So what we're going to do is take these and cut these. The first thing is to cut them and get them ready. So let's see how we do that. That's very simple. So just cut that tip off. We're not going to use it. We're going to climb in there and break it so you can see where that knuckle is. That's right pretty simple. And boom. We're ready. Just like that. Then we get our oil up to around 340 degrees. Now let me tell you something about these deep fryers. The little dial up here that tells you what you want to have temperature wise. I always have an extra thermometer in here just in yeah. case because a lot of times that's not, it it's, has a shut right. off area in it. That's not quite what it's supposed to be. So a lot of times it'll say 325 here and it'll say 425 here. If you're right. over 400, you're probably in a bad spot. So I like to get this right around 345 degrees. We're going to drop these in and let them get good and brown. When they start to float and you see less and less bubbles, you know that it's almost ready to go. So we'll take those, pour those on a tray, pop them in the oven at 275, and let those continue to cook and stay in the oven. Then what we're going to do is we're going to mix up. Let me show you my sauce. It's so easy. All right. This is what makes your wings. This is what the makes sauce. my wings. And if anybody steals my recipe, and you see this in a restaurant five years from now, you saw it here first. Right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start, let's say you have 35 wings. Now, I usually make 100 because mm. the kids are here. The kids. And here's one behind the scene thing you won't see tonight. All right, here's the beauty shot of our plate that we had a little while ago. All right, that was in between the house and here. We made a few because the kids came over. They knew they found out we were going to do it, and I had to fix some. Nick ate 30. That beautiful plate that we had that you see right yes. here is now empty. So what I'm going to do is take probably a third of a cup. This is for about 35 wings, if I had to guess, because right. I can eat 30 myself and you'll eat five. Thanks. <laughs> so we're going to take approximately, let's say, a third of a cup, and then we're going to come in with our Bangkok peanut sauce. That... Yeah has got the peanut butter taste, and it's also got some spicy flavors, some ginger, and probably, I'm gonna say, a tablespoon of that. You don't need a whole lot of that. You might wanna go a little more. Then you're gonna take some soy sauce. Now I'm gonna put probably, oh, two tablespoons of soy sauce in there. Yum. I'm gonna come back with some sesame oil. This is largely for flavor and to thicken things up. Gotta have that. And I'm going to put probably a three quarters of a teaspoon in there. I've never measured this. That's I'm going to take so some good. of our honey. And I'm going to put approximately, I'm going to put probably a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. That means I get to eat it. Our honey, yep. Mm. It's all yours. Then we're going to take some brown sugar. And I'm going to probably put, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half of that in there, maybe two. <laughs> three. Now. There's no calories in that. You believe that? That's delicious. So I'm gonna take that over here. I'm gonna heat that up on this burner. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up just a little bit, reduce it down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna set it off to cool and let it thicken up. Almost forgot, red pepper flakes. Just enough Yummy. to give it a little bit. I don't want it to, to have a real burn. I just wanna have a little a little hint of heat in there. When it all comes together, we're gonna to bring a bowl out, pop our wings out. Isn't that sad? We had literally a hundred and some wings and we're down to this. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna take our sauce. And we're gonna mix in this. Now again, these are just a few that we have. The kids, they, they that smells good. the majority of them. Then we're going to come back with some sesame seeds, and we're going to just take those sesame seeds and just turn them over. It's going to stick to them, and it gives them a nice little flavor. It's subtle, but to add to the other flavors, it's absolutely beautiful. And what you end up with, my friends, is the most beautiful wing in the world. And delicious. And delicious. Now, the thing about these is they're fresh.
Yum. They are fresh. They're never frozen. Am That's I allowed to so taste? You, you can, absolutely. I've already had 126. Mm. <laughs> this is so easy. There's nothing to it. These are delicious. You know what else is easy? What? Is going to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com to check out all the stuff we might have missed. We talked about this earlier. Talked to a lady in Finland the other day. Talked to somebody in Sweden. I talked to a fellow in South America. Isn't that neat? Isn't that That's, cool like that, that yeah. we have friends all over the world? We want you to be our friend, too. All you do is go to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page and like it. Just hit the like button. You don't have to do a friend request there. All you have to do is like it. And we'd like to hear from you. Talk to you, chat with you. we got so many cool messages. Not too long ago, somebody wrote, and it kind of inspired me to do this show Wait. today. And she asked the question, who wrote and sang the theme song to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen? Well, that happened right in our studio where right. we were playing all. guitar. And that's the, that's the fun part of this yeah. job, too, is being able to be creative. It's our show. We own it. And we have great sponsors, and we have great fun. Yes, we do. So, half hour's up. I'm it's gonna, about, to I'm gonna eat these it's about time to get ugly on these yeah. wings. But before we do, it's all about... Good times. Good friends. And good eats. We'll see you next week on a brand new Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. These are all mine. You can have them. I couldn't eat another wing if I had to. To order a cookbook, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com.